Hey guys, what's up? It's Clary Berry. I'm here today to bring to you the Divine Masculine reading. Hopefully we can see. I've got a lot of glare. I can't really see you guys very well, so hopefully I'll be able to hold the cards up for you, but if not, I guess you can get a pretty good view, hopefully, here. So, welcome. Hope you guys had a good weekend. It is, it is Monday, okay? It is June 1st. Goodness gracious. How time flies. 2020. Here we go. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, okay? A lot of times people go high off into their spiritual world and they just forget about the regular world or forget about people can like forget about responsibilities or on the flip side, they can get kind of cocky and become less spiritual again based on what they think they learned and oh, other people aren't on my level, that sort of thing. So watch out for that a little bit. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to come out and play here. Okay, just allow things to be, uh, accept different parts of yourself, uh, accept yourself and your needs that you need, realize that your needs are valid. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be Divine Masculine Reading, okay? We got a moon in Cancer, Venus in Gemini, Mars in Pisces, our moon uh, still in Libra, but shortly going to uh, Scorpio. Okay, so people... You know, a lot of a lot of social focus over the weekend. Indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help ch help children who are sensitive, and you can help the indigo children and the crystal children. People, um, you know, that are different have they have and like twin flames. You know, it's the same thing, kind of to me. Um, special people <laughs> you know you can help the younger ones you can help the younger twin flames the younger indigo children you know if you don't know what that is there's some books out there that explain it um but they're just children that are that are different you know they may be more sensitive in different ways maybe more prone to getting adhd add they are more psychic and that's helping this crumbling of these infrastructures of things that are not meant to be in our world so it's very good and anything we can do to help these children once again, look at our beautiful matching vibe here. You gotta love it. And we are just gonna jump right in. So we wanna look at kind of what has been going on lately. We're gonna take four. What's been going on lately? Just kind of overall, overall energy. Beautiful day outside. I really hope you guys are doing well. I know there's so much, so much crazy out there. Try not to focus on it too much. It's good to pay attention. It's good to know. Be, be, uh, be alert. Be aware. You know, and help where you can. Um, but you know, to get emotionally sucked in, of course, we want to keep control of that. And if you need help with that, always just hop over to the tw uh, Twin Flames Talks playlist that I have, and you can watch the video uh, something about mood boosters. Okay. So not surprised that Strength card came up number one. Okay. Divine Feminine is doing something, y'all. She is doing something. She is making something happen. Y'all, if you are here, you know, and if you are listening and if you are leveling up, you know, this is where it's at. And this is, of course, being strong, being strong in ourselves, setting boundaries like we've been talking about, having dignity, not letting anybody or anything get in the way of that dignity, um, including your person, including your twin flame. You know, it's kind of that not going to wait around energy. I um, feel like Divine Feminine is really seeking out the truth here. Really has maybe found uh, Divine. I think this is an, this is basically saying the Divine Masculine fully, A, is happy here that Divine Feminine is being strong, stronger, enjoying it fully. And believes, believes in it, believes in the strength, in the strength of Divine Feminine. Like, it makes them proud, literally, to have Divine Feminine kind of almost step up in a way and act in the way, you know, that is most attractive. And again, that's why I always preach that. We don't want to get sucked in as Divine Feminine to any kind of overcompensation, any type of, you know, obsessions with our person, your obsession should be on your own beautiful life, on your own beautiful self, you know, and living your own life. And again, finding your own truths here. This is not turning back. And the reason why there's this 
beautiful recognition of this coming through in this divine masculine reading, you know, is, is again, it's working. Um, look at the, the color too, it's, it's healing. You know, there's a freshness, there's a new vibe here, but it's definitely healing and figuring out truth. It's putting things together. It's kind of, it's also being able to put, divine feminine is having more understanding of how to turn negatives into positives and also how to bring things together with the holistic law of attraction. Bring together the mind, the emotions, and the actions. Bring those together. That is what Divine Feminine is doing. Again, if you want tips with that process, check out the Twin Flames, no, excuse me, the Law of Attraction playlist. And then there's also, of course, in my program, my program is a video program, it's 30 videos long. Starts out with the Holistic Law of Attraction. The second uh, third of it is Shadow Work. And then it brings you into the inner child healing all will take you through the process and get you more in union with your person faster deeper in union with your person faster because you clear away a lot of blockages and that's what i think in some way you've been doing this already i can tell divine feminine has been doing this already and is overflowing and again there's a whole new world of possibilities now there's a whole new feeling again it's kind of this freshness almost kind of cleansed cleansing um, fun yet kind of spicy um, new again fresh start with this new beginning with this new emotions you know and these new the relationship new it's like a whole new relationship and um, if, if you know if we've done all this right and if we continue to do all this right it's really going to overflow into your life just like this it's gonna overflow into reality into your life the happiness that you feel okay so don't be afraid to kind of be bold here Okay, there is this flirty love, you know, I want to say sexy, cute, like, you know, vibe that's going on, but it is being absolutely true. It's kind of like, almost like divine feminine is being a um, role model, like for other young girls. And it's just, I mean, the, the vibe that you get off of this, it's like your whole summer is going to be set up off of what you're doing right now is almost to kind of just how it's coming through. Okay. So yes, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. And again, this is energy coming from divine masculine, but it's reading for divine feminine, um, just by the nature of things. So, you know, but there is a real enamor, you know, there's an enamored, enamorment and en enameredness I don't know but it, there's a mystery too is we have the curtains that are kind of pulled and kind of half back and our birds like our little messenger here we shouldn't be feeling alone if we're doing this work because you know you're connected because you clear out any kind of BS that says that you're not worthy or that you're not you know you're not gonna get it you're not gonna receive the best because we know that 90% of the time if there's a blockage, it's going to be us, our inside, blocking ourselves. We'll get to that too. But again, kind of the, the mystery has been building a little bit. And, um, you know, I think we're making our lives better too. You may have done some of the, you know, uh, cleaning, organizing types of stuff over the weekend. I know I did. That's part of the new beginning is, is, is uh, having this whole concept of this new fresh start. Okay. You did some healing. You're doing some healing. You're going through a process and you're gearing up for a fresh start. The more you can remind yourself of that and wrap your mind just around that fact, you know? And again, this is all here, the same thing. This is balancing, balancing our emotions while we're healing. That can be challenging. And if you're into the inner child healing work, then that's probably what that's coming up for you. For I'm getting that some people it's coming up for that, that way. If you're doing the inner child healing, you know, you do wanna again, go to mood boosters, bring that mood up before, and after, or at least after um, you do any kind of deep inner child healing, you know, especially where you're drawn to tears or something like this, which will happen, does happen, should happen, <laughs> can happen, will happen, you know, and so it's good to know that and be prepared and help others through that whenever they're going through it, know that it's okay, you know, you kind of, it's got, it's got to go deep. So, but it is a balance and you can't, if it goes too deep and you know, too much, it's like fasting. Here's the metaphor. If you are fasting really a, for a long time, which I don't necessarily even, you know, recommend unless you're being monitored somehow, you know, but, um, you don't, you don't do your normal routine. If you're really truly fasting, you're going to 
take it easy, you know, for a while. And it's like, that's the kind of thing you want to take it easy, maybe in other areas and give yourself some extra time. And again, healing and mood boosting activities, um, and just be more good to yourself, you know, be better, pamper yourself more during those times that you are doing that healing. Okay. So, and, and do that, do that all the time. You know, we, we really do deserve it. And the more you love on yourself, you know, the more you're opening it up and showing the universe what you deserve because you, what you expect really does matter. And that's why we really have to get deep. We really have to see things kind of almost in this broad spectrum of saying, oh yeah, you know, rem again, reminding yourself, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it. It's working. I can already see the changes. I can feel how wonderful this is, you know, and you're seeing things change right before your very eyes. Okay, the home is here. We're changing things here with our finances. Everything's getting better with our money, with our um, home situation. Sometimes we may not realize it. It takes a while to, you know, really materially manifest. So don't scoff at it if you don't necessarily feel that way. Just keep telling yourself that and keep on being happy and, you know, going through the process of, again, the holistic law of attraction with that thought in mind and that feeling in mind and that goal in mind. Okay. So let's keep going. What's going on now? Like what's right now? What's up? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? I'm thirsty. I can tell you that. I'm going to take five here. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, so we're definitely, again, Divine Feminine is rubbing off. There's some inner child, uh, like I was saying, there's some healing going on for the new beginning to happen. That had to happen anyway, so that's how you kind of know. But we're learning. The point, the point is, it's still learning, still growing. You should never feel like, oh, I'm there. We're still learning. We're still growing. Um, the more we do, we never give up. We keep on going. The more one side does, the more it's going to reverberate to the other side. Keep the other side going because, you know, sometimes... One side is more focused and, you know, the, the other person is less and, and then it balances itself out and that is perfectly fine and perfectly natural. Um, we all can't be totally 100% focused and perfect all the time, you know. So, again, like, this is about just kind of being gentle with ourselves again as we change um, and keep on finding. Again, it's keeping on searching. You found a truth, okay. You got to, A, keep it with you, okay. And allow yourself to, again, kind of adapt to these new goals, new behaviors, new ideas. The things you learn, you've got to, again, kind of adapt to those, okay? And you may have to, you may be changing. All of a sudden, you're a whole new person, you know? It's like the, the prince goes through puberty. Who is this man, you know? Like, there was a boy here, and now they're a man. Like, completely different. Now you're in that stage of your life, you know? Wow, you actually, you know, are going to be probably more strong-willed in this area, more, um, I think getting the healing is going to even make you, take you to, it's, it's like you're digging and then you're doing healing and then you're digging and then you're doing more healing and it just opens, it opens it up for you, um, like a lot. So, you know, stay open to that and be really happy and proud of yourself for any work and also your person, any work that you are actually doing. And... Again, there's kind of this idea to be patient as we fully, as divine masculine, as they're kind of growing, really, really wraps their head around everything, you know, like days are going to go by. Like this is a, this is a time period. This is a process, you know, for divine masculine to kind of really almost grasp and understand, um, and maybe learn how to react to the new, you know, more enlightened divine feminine. So there's there may be some power shifts with this, and this this healing is just going to take us deeper. So don't doubt it. It may be scary sometimes, literally, to give things up in our life or to find new truths and that replace old truths, or to even you know maybe for some people it's kind of like oh saying I was wrong about something and we don't want to change our minds, but that doesn't matter. We're learning how to deal with that. We're learning how to like almost like Marie Kondo, you know, stuff like thank it and let it go in your life. Thank it. Let it go. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, showing me this, showing me that. And I'm not going to choose to be that way anymore. I'm not going to choose to believe that belief, something. It's a belief about the relationship. Okay. But I think both sides can be really proud here. It's a very elevated. It's like, it's all royal. It's all really high, you know, high numbers and high, well, new beginning too. 
but for me, and it's, it's, this is spirituality coming through so hard, so clear. There's no way that anybody can run from this. You know, it's like, you got to face it. And again, it's kind of almost this infiltrate process. And then you're able to, again, kind of just use the information to really level up really level up and heal the relationship that's that has to be the focus we're healing the relationship right now we're healing the relationship i know we talk about it all the time it's almost one of those things it's like cliche can it be healed 100 percent? okay maybe we're not going to heal it 100 percent today but we are going to we're healing it today like we are healing it this week this month this is the mindset this is what's happening we believe it conceive believe achieve have the idea the thought first now we're having it then we're gonna, you know, repeat it and repeat it, conceive till we believe it. We're gonna put our mind around it, and we're gonna start to daydream about it. We're gonna be like, yes, and get more attached to the idea, you know, of two people here, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, you know, both really holding, holding, both really, first of all, being themselves and allowing the other one to completely be themselves, and, you know, to have their own goals and to have their own ideas. And it's like, it's almost like they don't have to necessarily agree on everything, but they're so similar and the ways that they are, are completely undeniable, you know, and there is that connection and there is that love. Okay. It's there, you know, for both sides, it's there. Again, there's definite focus on the strength, you know, cause we have the line here and then we had it in the beginning kind of very similar here both sides are going to be acting kind of strong too you know in a way and it's almost like a stare off you guys get that it's almost like a stare off again these strong wills strong personalities okay but it's also underlying is really wanting to get it right wanting to do it right wanting to finish the job Wanting to complete the, the snip, complete the snip, the cut, get rid of something fully before. People may be feeling um, rejection right now because they're not maybe hearing because it's everything's not right in the forefront. See, it's behind her. The lovers are behind her. It's, it's in her mind. It's on her. It's definitely in, on her mind, um, but it's kind of in the back burner in her life. So it may be some daydreaming energy you know and that's just the way that it is okay but there's definitely that respect coming through okay and we need to continue and again this is i respect you more i respect myself more so again we're both raising we're raising our our vibration we're wa we're walking all over it we are getting it done and we're doing what we got to do got to let go got to let go of some something chaining you again could just be simple as beliefs but a lot of times the beliefs will even manifest you know as something deeper drugs alcohol you know uh just emotional uh shallowness kind of thing and you know just just different issues you know could be things even like gambling or just like overeating or, or too much working out or you know any kind of thing that kind of gets you off track and then overly obsessed could also just be like obsessing about the person obsessing about the relationship you know in a bigger picture we realize like again we're healing we're letting these things go we are changed we are different it's wonderful okay and we're committed it's like i know what i want and nothing is going to stop me from becoming who i'm going to be nothing because i know you know it's like having that knowing when you put your head in the right place and you get your emotions in the right place and your actions will totally line up. And again, our truth in action is really important. Okay. And it comes from the truth in the mind. You know, that's straight up. That's what that means when it's just like straight up. If that's the truth, if you have the truth in mind, truly you're mental in a good place. You do enough shadow work. You get that stuff straight. Then you'll start to act in a better way. You'll start to just do it naturally and you won't even have to think about it as much and then you'll have better habits and then your habits will become literally results and that's again the holistic law of attraction check it out uh in my program really 
uh, or there's some videos, I don't know if it's all holistic law of attraction, it's not all holistic law of attraction videos in the law of attraction playlist, but there may be some, so you can check that out too. Okay, so we're gonna get into blockages, 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 what is blocking this union from progressing, from flourishing? Right now, three. Oh, okay, we got the death card, and we got four of cups and wheel of fortune, yeah. So basically, we may we might be two in our heads from all of this. Uh, Mercury, uh, excuse me, from well, our Mercury is in Gemini, our Venus is in Gemini, our Sun is in Gemini. That is just a lot of mental, you know, airy energy that keeps us, you know, in that in in the in intellect side of ourselves. So. Um, but this is cups too. So this, there is a cu combination, you know, of our emotions kind of overflowing into, we may know, I think divine masculine may be like knowing that they're feeling emotional. And so they might be kind of blocked off. Okay. And the changes itself that everybody's going through, you know, whether it be from COVID to, you know, could be having to do with protests and riots, could be having to do with any of the crazy things that have been happening this year. But it, it or again, it's all of everything. It's the interchanges as well. Um, again, these truths that we're learning, you know, taking us to a higher level, taking us to a different place. We can't just continue to do the, the old cycle again. So it's just something that is kind of like, again, divine timing just, just got to wait. And, I, you know, it's just the way that it is. And again, we have to understand, okay, it's kind of like, the logical side of things, our emotions, again, we're kind of balancing out, you know, our logic and our emotions, you know, and our actions too at any given time. Okay. But again, we had the death card of both decks. So it's like really working through letting go. And we're going to get into this, like what specifically we want to let go of for this collective here and masculine energy telling us okay all right reverse okay okay yeah uh, first of all it's non-committal it's first of all we need to let go of our fear to truly do the work and heal. Okay. We need to, it's like, there might be this fear. Um, it's a lot, there's a lot of intellect coming off of this. It's like a fear of not appearing smart or wise and, you know, understanding everything or knowing everything. And it's like, that's kind of has to do with what we have to give up here. We have to give up trying to act like we know everything because we, nobody can, Nobody really ever can. And so many people walk around like they, like they, like they can. And there's this sort of humility that we have to let go. <laughs> this is an ego death, really. Um, you know, be, that know-it-all behavior, accepting, you know, the true wisdom is understanding, you know, what we don't know, what, that we're only capable, literally, of understanding certain things. The rest of it is going to be in that intuition that's really going to be maybe not even able to be verbalized, you know, properly. That's just there in that feeling. And that those feelings can, can sometimes really guide us through. That's why we go within, because it's all with, you know, really language is, is just, a, it's, it's very limited. You know, our concepts, our minds, our structures of our mind are all limited by a lot of times our words and what we can communicate. And that's why when certain languages have more words, you know, it's like, wow, there's this whole new possibility. But in reality, our minds work way beyond, you know, anything that language can even really comprehend. It's just symbols, you know, so that's kind of the idea here and, and something to keep in mind. Um, and that's why we don't focus just on the intellect. We, that's why we're following our heart. And I think on both sides here, we're, we're starting to do that a little bit more. And that's why we're progressing. That's why there's this big, huge change. If there hasn't been a big, huge change in your life yet, then hold on because there's ones coming. Okay. But don't let that scare you. Okay. 
because it's it's like we haven't jumped we haven't we because we haven't fully allowed ourselves to jump into the healing side of this as much then we haven't fulfilled our you know our capabilities we're not utilizing you know our, ourselves our own energy the way that we could be or should be if we were more you know if we learn more if we grow more if we you know keep on going it's just should be fun at this point to learn and grow and keep this wheel spinning wheel of fortune you know we cannot stop this is you know it's like a gerbil wheel but it's good we're like yes keep it going because if we stop then again we're stagnant and we don't want that we are letting go of so much the death of so many things in our in our lives and again this could be literal of course we're in a you know we're still in a pandemic and stuff but this doesn't come through as that for me and I would never ask it to come through like that um, necessarily so this is obviously you know about ways of thinking ways of uh, kind of trying to protect ourselves maybe some game playing you know and again any bad habits that are just getting in the way and anything that's getting in the way of the understanding um and not it's just not a mental thing though but it's also getting in the way of you doing the law of attraction anything that gets in the way of that watch out that's why you got to jump because you got to know what your new boundaries are you got to keep you got to keep on working on these boundaries too and both sides you know need to have everybody needs to have their own you know and it's if it's not a boundaries thing boundaries can always kind of be read as your needs to getting your needs met because that's important and it's important for everyone okay it's kind of the death of again not knowing what our maybe our own needs are or getting those met or you know be, knowing how to ask for those things again sometimes it's even just knowing is the first step no really knowing what you want and knowing how to say it and, and knowing that it's okay to, to ask for it ask for things knowing that you deserve it okay but you got again you got to jump this is jump into the subconscious and maybe we are you know maybe you already are and it's just that that is why there's you know maybe a little bit less focus on this union and togetherness at this time because you're still in the process of doing this you're in the process of jumping right now but that's great because that can only like once you have the big splash then you can have then you'll probably have some um you know more more contact more communication more feeling in union okay so we're gonna take solutions okay so a solution is a tower moment so interestingly enough okay Five of Swords, Prince of Cups, and then we go back to the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the the key is to remember the Tower moment. Remember how it felt. This is kind of just having us stay strong because again, we are clearly breaking with old patterns. Old patterns in the relationship, bam, done, not happening anymore. We have to let old ones die and new ones are created wiser wiser ones again it's more dignity more it's more love and it's better for both sides you have to understand you have to understand it's not worth it if if if, if you're not where you need to be and again a lot of this is inner work that we can learn how to reframe our outlook on life our beliefs our expectations once we do that things are so much more gravy so take the leap and get the program and check it out how to do the shadow work how to go within into the subconscious get into that inner child healing and work it you know and again your tower moment here is going to be probably your starting go point because you're going to think back to your tower moment and that's what's going to give you those first initial feelings Oh, I was upset. My, my really heart was broken here, you know, and, and feeling that pain that you felt in that moment, in this tower moment with your twin flame, but going back, 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 back further. So, and, 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 and I'll tell you how to deal with that too. So it's shadow work and the inner child healing. So again, just healing on so many levels. That is your solution here. It's not in ignoring the tower moment. Okay. Again, this is looking back on the tower moment, what your reactions were. Uh, what was happening what set you up for this in the first place okay but it's really wrapping your head around this you know 
and it's kind of on some level it's just raising this vibration raising this understanding knowing what it's going to take again and it's kind of like a full committal you got to be all for it in your mind you got to know where you're going you got to know this is about the healing you got to know too that it's not, nobody's out to get you this is just the way life is this is just everybody has to go through the same sorts of things here in a way the loss the trauma the drama you know like all of these things but again there's this reframe there's this new understanding and again it's coming through really as reaction as divine masculine's reaction it's just got to kind of wrap kind of just learn to accept it on it you know just kind of like let it sink in really that's what it's, it's just and and then logically it's just gonna make sense that's really odd this is kind of an odd reading okay so I want to go back to this one too with our we take the leap okay we take the leap we learn these new again back to our high priestess we're learning the new sides of spirituality the new sides of ourselves learning how to process the shadow work that goes along again my program with the inner child healing just specifically for you know the purposes of coming into union with your twin flame you know again it's going to help you in your reactions it's going to help the towers from never happening again because you're going to know you're going to learn so much it's just surrender Surrender, surrender, surrender. That is all we can do here. You know? Scorpio, you know, coming through Tuesday, Wednesday. There's going to be, you know, we might have some intense, you know, feelings. It's kind of a good time when your feelings are more raw like that. Um, it's easier to get in there. It's easier to heal when it's, when you're already in that emotional state. So it's a good time, you know, again, Monday, Tuesday, do some learning about the shadow work, about the inner child healing. Uh, get the program again down in the description box below. Check out clearberry.com as well. Um, but yeah, that's a time to get ready to learn. And then coming into Tuesday and Wednesday again, doing the actual healing, it's a good plan. And then coming through, uh, you know, your full moon experience might be completely different, you know if you're really doing this refining process. If you want these goals, you've got to utilize the moon and the moon's energy and the waning and the waxing. That's why I just focus mainly on the personal planets and the moon because it's very personal thing and we're all talking about very personal things here, right? Okay, so I know it's probably going pretty long here, but yeah, we want to, we want to gear up for a great Sagittarius full moon. This could be a wonderful weekend. Sagittarius, you know, can be very optimistic, can be very happy and outgoing. Okay, obviously. So, you know, we're going to feel like maybe a little more of that socializing, doing things, you know, but also you want to keep in line what you're doing, what you're actually focusing on in your life. You want it to be indicative, in alignment with, you want it to align with your actual goals. Okay. So keep, you know, a lot of it, again, a lot of this reading has come through as holistic law of attraction. Keep your goal in mind. Okay. Know that what you want, truly the bond that you crave, it truly is your spiritual, you know, destiny. It's, you're not just wanting this for a reason. You know, this is like, it's a, it's a pathway. It's a journey. It is not shallow. It is very deep. It is way deep into your spirituality and yourself and your soul. It's not just, you know, so never think about, never allow yourself to think about it as anything less than and make sure and make that a habit of thinking about that in the positive every single day. Maybe even setting some time aside, maybe right when you wake up or when you're going to sleep, you know, to really build those foundations and to get your subconscious blowing along. You know, again, it's like the fool card, you know, you got to really jump. You got to really commit here, you know, to these new ways of thinking. And the new ways of thinking have got to go through all of the functions of the holistic law of attraction. Again, all of the areas of our life, all of our, all of our energies, our mental, our emotional, our actions, all of that's got to work it out together. And then you will get the results with your, when your habits are formed. And it's important to get those habits, you know, to, to, it's like fresh habits are getting formed all over the place right now. 
and fresh habits are getting formed for their relationship. Whatever you're doing is setting the setting the uh, setting the tone for how your the new relationship is going to be. So again, this is part of this understanding and focusing and remembering and thinking about the whole underlying energy, the fact that we are growing, learning, healing, 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 and healing our lives together and moving towards this new beginning. So keep it in mind and focus on it and make sure that you're checking yourself as you go, staying on track. It's like if you're walking on a, on the narrow path, it's not very easy to tell, you know, if, if there's a break and is this really the right way? You got to be really looking for, you know, tracking basically. You got to be really looking for the signs as to is this the right way or not. And um, that's what we do. When we make this a lifestyle though, it becomes completely, you don't even think about it. It becomes wonderful. Okay. And it's very practical and it's very smart. Okay. And again, this is the ultimate is combining. So this is good sign. I feel like we're getting closer and closer and closer to really making this snap and really making this happen and really, you know, get this union happening and get everything that we want, you know, and everything in our new beginning that's coming, you know, get it here. It's, you know, we are there and the tip, the scales are tipping. So it's very soon we're going to be saying, Maybe, you know, maybe it's not so much of a new beginning anymore. Maybe we're that maybe we're getting more more we're getting somewhere. We're gonna get somewhere. Again, because the stagnancy really isn't even a thing. We talk about that sometimes because I use it as a metaphor, but like really, nothing ever stays the same anyway. So, so again, it's gonna get better or gonna get worse no matter what we do. So we make sure it's getting better. And part of that is again, always remembering to keep that bubble around yourself, that bliss bubble. Again, check out the Twin Flames Talks playlist and the Shadow Work playlist. Make sure that you're getting an understanding, a deeper understanding every day that you have time. Just allow yourself to learn and grow. And even if you feel like you you know, don't need to grow anymore, a lot of times, remember, it's just repeating. Even if you feel like you're in a good place, repeating concepts and getting things into that subconscious. Again, maybe even not for yourself, maybe for other people to teach it, right? Teach other people. But also, it's never good. It's never bad. Excuse me. It's never bad to learn something better and better and better again so you can explain it to somebody better and so that your subconscious has grasped onto it because again there's a cycles when we learn something we learn something oh we got this we got this wait a second uh three months later you know we're doing the same thing again wait a second cycle cycle cycles we know how that works so only cycles moving forward are new fresh healed loving spiritual uh in alignment with our higher self type of type of stuff that's where our focus is that and it's bringing that healing with us okay that healing is affecting the relationship allow that healing to really affect your whole life okay and take you into better and better and better territory in in all aspects of your energy and in your life so yeah thanks so much much love many blessings thanks for the likes share subscribe comments etc i'll talk to you guys soon bye thanks